my first goal is to gain that notch dead ahead. I'll then continue left just behind the ridge line and up a narrow couloir called the Hourglass in order to gain the summit of Little Bear. It's about 7 o'clock, making good time, over 2 miles an hour. Ridge of Little Bear. You can see Lake Como. There's this nasty cold wall, this nasty gully that just came up. Definitely the crux. It's too slippery to go up where the water is. And although it's quite steep here on the viewer's right, that's the better route. Probably lower level fifth class, but the rock's dry, solid. Hopefully it should be easier from here. Getting down will be tricky though. We'll worry about that when we're coming down. Here's the remainder of the route from after the crux. Still steep and wet and loose. Not so loose. Deep and wet. Home stretch. Home stretch. The last couple feet. Let me give you a quick view on the northwest face. And I mean down the northwest face. It's a long ways down. Challenger. Just to the right of Cresto Needle is a two-humped mountain, a big pile of rocks known as Humboldt. Time to the top was two hours and 55 minutes. We can quite see the Jeep from here. It's about two-thirds of the way down that valley, and about halfway down the valley. You can see Lake Como. That was intense. I'm a little nervous about going down, but what goes up must come down. 
love the comments for Little Bear. Big ass bear, gnarly, hardcore, Southwest Ridge was great, and mine. I'm now minus the bear. That was a pretty gnarly climb. It was uh, almost epic, thankfully not. The hard part of getting down, I still have left to go. Great summit though. Absolutely fantastic. Probably the most powerful summit I've ever been on. Views are world class. Hard climb. Want to see how steep it is down? Take a look at this. of the hourglass route on Little Bear. I came up right through here. A little touchy going up, but going up is a lot easier than coming down. Again, I'm still thinking I may have to use the boat. But if you see there's a weakness, if you follow the orange line right down through there, I may actually be able to take that down. The last few feet, I still think I'll need to use the rope. There's my descent route. You can see it's above me. Just carefully pick my way down. Rocks are pretty slippery, but not too bad. These conditions are about as good as they ever going to get. So for about 12 feet there, I used the rope to lay myself down. I'd like to say I hated to do it, but the mountain will always be here. And if I screw up, I won't. So I'm glad I did. I'm really glad somebody fixed a brand new rope this week. This rope is shiny out of the box new, not a frayed thread on it, well anchored. That was a real stroke of luck. So to whomever did that, whoever ever placed this fixed rope, thank you, much obliged. Mom and Lauren, this shot is for you. I used that rope for about four steps, five steps down. Why? Because I promised I would be safe. I love you both. That is the Hourglass Cool Wall. I am through it. Probably the hardest part of my entire 14er climbing endeavor. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon.